Hello and welcome back to NATO Plays Minecraft. So we are back in the nether, not that we ever really left, and I've not done any more work on this building yet, however what I've decided to do for this episode, instead of talking at you for a straight, I don't know, 40 minutes I think I ended up being, I'm going to carry on working and recording and then I'll put a montage together of the process and stop every now and again and say anything important that I feel needs to be said. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so I decided after reviewing the footage that uh, it might be good to do an, a voiceover of me building this building and talking about a few of the things that hopefully I'm going to have coming up later on in this series. So first off I'm just like uh, spending quite a long time, this sequence is quite long of me going back and forth and trying to make sure that the uh, both sides of the staircase um, match up and are kind of designed the same. There's lots of going back and forth. So, ah, yes, the first guest that attacked me. There are many working in the nether. So you'll see lots of guests here. I don't quite know what that pause was for, but oh well. Uh, yeah, so there has been a snapshot release today. Uh, today being the 9th? 9th of January in the UK, at least. This footage was recorded a day or two ago, but this snapshot has some interesting new things in. For example, it has three new rock types, I've heard at least, which seem to spawn in the world. Uh, one of which is granite, and there's a dark one and a light one. Granite is a reddish colour, and um, the rest is kind of dark or light stone, with a bit of with a bit of tinting, I think. I haven't actually looked at them yet. But they sound really interesting, and I think I can get them in this world without having to completely restart the world. Uh, but I think I need to go to new fresh chunks to see uh, that they appear. So that's going to be something I'm going to do. I've updated the map to the snapshot, or done as much of the updating as you can do. <laughs> you know, I've opened it on the new on the new snapshot. Uh, not really seen any of the changes, and just sort of carried on as usual. However, I think we shall be building another another path, another railway to somewhere new, and seeing if we can get some of this new rock type to have a look-see and see how we feel about it. However, other things include a new bouncy block, which is made using uh, slime balls. I think it's technically called a slime block, but it's the bouncy block. And you can do cool interesting things with it. For example, um, you can, in theory, you can build like bouncy castles and things. Or you can also really build the first proper safe falling things, I think. At least I think. So I've not had a play with it yet, but I hopefully will have a look at that soon. So. Here what I'm trying to do is work out how I want to have a wall around this staircase. Now I originally had a version where you see these this kind of tiered blocks um, of various levels. I decide basically to, to take them out because that whole tiered thing I don't think really works. As you can see I try it with smooth stone and my plan here was to try and get like a a like a collar that went round at a set height above the ground but it really didn't work. So what I ended up doing as you'll see shortly is setting a height for a collar to be for like a ring around this uh, this space and then I will build a wall around that. So 
I'm setting up this height to be the same height as we have the band on the center tower, on the center uh, uh, pillar, as it were. So this actually matches that height. And I believe, if I remember correctly, shortly I go back to normal footage. <laughs> Hello, ghast. Many ghasts. I think that's been about five so far. I lost count. There were so many ghasts. I, I managed to kill the majority of them when I still had arrows, but I ran out quite quickly. So here we are. We are setting out the uh, collar in smooth stone blocks, smooth stone slabs even, because of the contrast. I mean, I'm hoping, one of the things I'm hoping is that these new stone materials really kind of add more, you know, allow me to add more detail to my building. So I like building with stone, but when you have stone, you have cobble, you have smooth stone, you have smooth stone, bricks, and various slabs and stairs based off that. I mean, smooth stone slabs are, and there's some lava there, escaping. Um, smooth stone slabs are a thing on their own. And cobble, I don't tend to use, unless it's something like this, where it's a, I wouldn't say a minor building, but it's a less featured building. And it's more rustic, almost. So, I'm about to go back to normal speed, uh, around about now. So as you can see, we have a problem. And this is one of the problems with working in the nether with a portal. Just open, out, in the open, and that is, a gas just shot it and taken the portal away. So we're now trapped in the nether, or we would be if I hadn't thought that this could happen. Ooh. Actually, how many arrows do I have? I only have two arrows left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Oh, I'm so glad I caught that. That was fantastic. If you missed that, one of the ghasts relit the portal. <laughs> the other one immediately knocked it out. <laughs> um, so I only have... Oh, there are now three ghasts shooting at me. I wonder if I can get them to light it for me again. Come on. No. No. I do have a flint and steel for this exact reason. However, I am out of arrows, so time to escape. Oh, you son of a... Right, you can die. Apparently not. Where did you go? There you went. Yeah! Yeah! Have it! Ghast fight! So I probably should stop playing gas tennis and actually escape back to civilization. Or oh, what uh, passes for civilization. So now we're back safe. Back in the real world. <sighs> right, I'm going to probably actually think about setting up a chicken farm or a chicken reactor, as I refer to them, for various reasons. However, um, I first need to find some chickens to do so with, <coughs> and pick somewhere to start that chicken reactor and set it up. We have cows. Cows have escaped from our cowatorium. <gasps> you bastard. Bloody spiders. Let's go get a hoe. Hoe. Iron hoe! 
Let's go hoe the ground. In fact, while we're here, all of these are done, so let's hit the magical button of magic. Woo! Yep, that seems to work. I think this is the first time I've actually shown this fully working. So it's collected, or it's loosened everything without getting rid of the ground, the tilted soil. Let's go around, pick up all the stuff, and that's going to filter through for us. And I'm not actually going to refill this because I want to change this building anyway. So I'll actually leave it empty. I will pick up the stuff from the chest at the bottom. Uh, once I've let it filter through it takes a minute or so. Oh, I'm already f full of stuff, aren't I? Well, let's dump, <coughs> let's dump everything in here then. And take everything back to the house. Right, okay, so we have started to building our building in the nether a bit to put a bit more time and energy into building that. And so far, it's coming along quite nicely. Oh, I don't have any beef. I don't have any beef cooking, so let's go kill some cows. Right, I'm actually going to do some, some house maintenance and some various things. And I will see you soon. Okay, well, I've done some housekeeping, and I've managed to find seven arrows from killing mobs out there in the wilderness. So, that's not really enough, but it'll do for now. I've set up a small, what will be a chicken farm. It currently only has one chicken in, but uh, it's producing eggs at a slow rate. So I'm going to go back to constructing this. So far, I've just set up the... Uh, other stairs up. Ow. The other stairs up and started putting in a ring around which will form the basis of the gas shield basically. Um, I wonder if it dropped something. Go look in a minute. I'll go look now because in a minute I'm going to start recording the uh, continue the montage from where I left off. Bump. I kind of miss the days. Oh, it just... Ooh, it dropped a gas tier. Hey! Awesome. Gas tiers are very useful for making regeneration potions, which I will probably need when I fight the Wither, uh, if not the Ender Dragon. If and when. <laughs> However, for the time being, om nom 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 nom, I'm going to get back to building. So I will uh, speak to you soon, and you can continue in the meantime watching me mindlessly build this thing. <laughs> See you soon. So yeah, I didn't decide to. Um, kind of do the talking over it thing. <laughs> can't remember what the, like, the correct word is. I didn't decide to do that until after after this segment, I think it was. So this is quite a long segment. And yeah, so what I'm doing here is adding some more variation to the top of our collar going round with these stairs. And I'm going to add some windows in here, but to do that I'm going to need some proper supports. And I'm, I mean, initially I'm going to start with some smooth stone bricks, some smooth stone slabs even. But as I went on I realised that I don't think they really... They work, they look okay, 
but it doesn't seem to me kind of I kind of need something more I came to the conclusion of and in the end I went with as you'll see when I uh, end up rebuilding this section these pillars I ended up going with um, some dark oak wood which dark oak wood in the nether <laughs> is a uh, a precarious concept because of all the fire, especially with ghasts flying around shooting things. But then so is having glass, and basically so is being in the nether at all. I mean, the, the thing about ghasts is that while they will shoot you whenever they can, if they can't see you, um, they won't shoot at you. That's some nice tennis there. I get better at hitting those as this as this video goes on. So yeah, um, ghasts only shoot at you if they can see you. So if you are behind a wall of glass, which they don't count as transparent, they don't try and shoot at you. So it's perfectly safe to have flammable materials in the Nether as long as you know either that lava is not going to fall on them, or if you're going to be completely covered. Uh, and, and inside from ghasts for the majority of the time until you kind of enter your building so your entrance way you need to have fireproof but you can have flammable materials on the exterior uh, as long as you kind of put a bit of thought into the exact placement of those oh ah lots of fast movement so this was recorded Sorry, this is this playback. There we go. This playback is at a hundred and uh, sorry, three hundred and fifty percent. I didn't. I mean, this is a bit. I think this is a bit quick. I mean, you can give me feedback on this, and that would be appreciated. I don't. And I'm not. The portal's gotten knocked out again there. Um. And again, <laughs> this is what happens when I run out of arrows. Oh, I had one left apparently. Um, yeah, the, this is at 350% speed. Hello, pig man. Hello. Um, and it's mostly for that because I didn't want this video to be too long. It was already getting pretty long. And I didn't want to split it because I've already had two episodes of building this. And I want to try and go and do something more interesting. Uh, something different. And then come back to this later on, possibly. Maybe do some off camera, depending on how, uh, depending on feedback and how this how this goes. As I was saying before, there has been a snapshot, and we're going to go looking for the new materials, the new stone materials soon. And that's probably going to be either the next episode or the episodes after that. Things I'm planning on doing, I'm really wanting to get the town centre kind of finalised. I mean, we have the town circle, but I'd like to build the road that goes between the town circle and the stairway up. Because currently that is really annoying to traverse. And it would be nice if it was slightly less annoying. And I think... I think for that I'm likely to maintain the the same the same kind of pathway system as I was using before. So I'll have grass broken up by some gravel and uh, cobblestone for a roadway because with, with well probably edging more towards having the gravel and stone rather than the grass, in theory, like in my mind, the more grass you have in these pathways, the more rural it looks. Like the pathway that goes between the outside of the the starter house, the to be soon to be in, hopefully, depending on when I move. When uh, when you're going between that and the pathway, the uh, bridge, sorry. That uh, that has quite a high degree of 
it has well, it has about an equal amount of grass and it has two um other materials. Whereas the path between Oh Okay, we for some reason we run out of material. Ah, this is where I go get some glass. I actually lost some footage here. I forgot to uh I think I paused to take a short break. And yeah, here we go. I think this is where I no, this is, that won't make sense. Um, somewhere along here, there is a slight bit of footage missing where I went back to the real world to get some materials, I think, and I also took a short break. And when I came back, I forgot to hit the record button. And when you're doing something like this, and you're not kind of... Because I'm not talking, I was just kind of getting on with it, I didn't actively think about... Um, yeah, I didn't actively think about whether I was recording or not because I wasn't talking. It just it was just playing as normal, uh, not playing like I record. So that's one of the pitfalls of recording this kind of footage. One of the other pitfalls is that it produces. I've said this before. It produces a lot of footage. I mean, this is about an hour and ten minutes footage, or something similar to that. And I ran out of glass. So I need to... Oh no, i still got some, but I'm going to run out of glass, so I have to go make some more glass, which is uh, one of the things I go do. I think that might be what I, what I was doing when I lost the footage. In any case, most of this footage of me putting the glass in is, is very similar. I went with, the, with the, the blue glass, because I think... Like, this is a pathway back to the real world... And I like the fact that it kind of mirrors the real world. Oop, there, there we have a ghast taking out some of the glass. So I wanted it to mirror the real world and the town centre, I thought, because it has some of the same materials. Okay, we're swapping out the stone bricks for cobble. But otherwise, it's it's very similar material-wise, and it's also a very similar shape because it's uh, cylindrical mostly. So that's sort of where the, the the use of the blue glass came from. I also happen to have lots of blue dye and lots of blue glass, so it seemed it seemed reasonable. Here we are. This is I I lost some footage there of me going to get lots of sand, or I either chose not to. Yeah. <laughs> There is a lot of footage here that I've reduced down, and as you might be able to tell, I'm finding it difficult to remember exactly. Like I remember the the end state of how it how it ended up and how it started, but I don't necessarily remember all of the steps in between. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm not sure. I'm not sure you need to really. So yeah, this is. Um, that kind of marks the top half of the building. So we have this glass window, this big glass window, so we can look out to see what's out there, uh, we can plan our route and we can decide what we want to do from inside the nether. And I was generally quite happy with this. I mean, there are a couple of things. I need to work out how I want to do the roof stretcher. And this is the start of it. I decided to add an extra layer of stone, double stone slabs to kind of mark the end of that wall segment which uh, I was relatively happy with and my screen just uh, decided that I've not done anything for enough time and turned itself off <laughs> oh well um, yeah so that that gave me a nice kind of mirrored version um, and I decided, you know, let's add some more detail here by adding some of these pillars in sto smooth stone brick. I was going to put one on the corner there, but I decided not to because uh, I thought it, it kind of broke up a bit too much. So yeah, the roof of this I'm not sure what to do. I mean, this back segment here, um, I don't know quite why I decided to... I guess um, I decided to make this a bit slightly different because it's directly opposite the uh, way you come in. It's directly opposite the entranceway, as it were. 
and it kind of works. It's also because the ground level is, yeah, I get a lot better at uh, hitting those uh, gas balls. Uh, it's an, it's um, the outside of that back segment there where you come in is at a higher level than the rest, so I either could have changed the landscape or just sort of worked around it. And since it suited my purpose, I just kept it as it was. So the next bit I'm doing here is very confusing to watch, apparently. I'm building a, a second ring at the bottom. Goodbye, Pigman. At the bottom uh, level, it's where the bottom of the steps is, and this is going to form the basis of where our wall is going to go to kind of define uh, of our of our sort of I don't want to say ground floor and top floor because that doesn't really mean much. Ah, this is where this is where the footage got lost. In the intervening time, I have put a a double. It's actually going to be a quad set of stairs that alternate between directions. So this essentially gives us a kind of recessed and then pronounced segment. And it's mostly just for detail instead of just having a cobble wall go around. I didn't really want to have a didn't really want to have just a cobble wall or a in or another set of windows. I kind of felt like this is the... you're progressing downwards into the depths of the building to get you know out to the floor and this top observation deck is... it kind of works with the glass otherwise... I, I, you know, the further you go the less... The further down you go the less you can see so there's no reason to have windows which are not only expensive to put in but also risky and this is uh, me putting in some pillars. The thing about these pillars is that um, the guests were seeing me as I was knocking out the stairs to put in uh, them in at a different di different orientation. So I was getting shot at lots. However, I think it's actually I'm actually really happy with how this has come out. And I think about now we're going to go back to past me. Well, I think I have probably done a fair amount for today. I'm going to leave this episode here, and I'm recording this before any commentary that I've made over the top of this. Uh, I was originally going to put some music to it, but I think I've decided to do some commentary over the top. So, uh, you've probably just heard me say that, <laughs> in any case. I keep, these gas just keep shooting out the glass here, and it's really anno annoying me. I've also run out of arrows, so sending the, uh, gas balls back is the only way I can stop my glass being broken. So this thing needs a roof. But otherwise, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, it would be nice to get a bit more colour contrast in here. I might put in some glowstone. Um, it needs something. It needs something extra, and I'm not sure what. But this is the main body of our nether, nether gateway. Our nether terminal, I guess. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. In any case, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.